Mask, why not make it fun? Some Knoxville creators are now offering what they call party PPE. Potty PPE. That sounds like potty. Mm. I'm not sure I'd go there. <laughs> it's party, not potty. Potty. It's a way to be stylish. <laughs> Thank you, Russ. While also staying safe, reporter Katie Emmon gives us a peek into the new pandemic style. These face shields, masks, sunglasses, and headpieces show staying safe shouldn't be boring. We're going to be stuck in this crazy, weird world. You know, any way that we can kind of make it a little more fun or a little more creative or like, why not do that? Because because we're here, you know? <laughs> it's called Party PPE, a fashion line merging style and safety. As I started working on them, I just kept making them kind of more and more insane. Gail Mackey and Sean Pointer with the Central Collective in Knoxville unveiled the glam garb on Monday. It's all part of a movement and photo exhibition they created called Herdcore. One, the idea that we've, we're all in this together. Whether we feel like it all the time or not, this is a global pandemic and it is something that does affect everybody. Their website is filled with painted face shields, loud masks with words, flowers and chains, and all sorts of accessories. We realize like this is going to be happening for a while. We're going to be wearing masks for a long time. Um, so there's something that, you know, our, it's obviously functional. It's obviously something that you're doing to protect your community and protecting yourself. And I think that's something to be celebrated and something you can kind of have a lot of fun with. There's a complete photo exhibition displaying the accessories in the wild. And the photos, I think the idea was to kind of show them not how you have to use them, but how you could use them. So in the water. You could do it in a <laughs> sea of kudzu. The full photo collection will be released online this week as part of the first Friday art series in Knoxville. In the photos, to me, it feels almost like a post-apocalyptic, you know, crazy world, which I feel like some of us feel like we're in. They say the pictures can be viewed from multiple lenses, all aimed at being introspective. It's more kind of like asking a question of like, what does the world look like now and how has this affected all of us? And so I think kind of depending on your mood and point of view, you could read a lot into the photos or you could kind of just see them as a fun, mm -hmm. cheerful or not so cheerful thing to look at. Until the gallery debut, they're posting masks throughout the week on Instagram to auction off. All you have to do is comment to place your bid. I mean, if you must wear a mask, why not wear a fun, crazy one, right. you know? Live a little. Live a little. <laughs> Staying safe, socially distant, and stylish. I'm Katie Inman reporting. Now the bidding for masks goes until Sunday on the Central Collective's Instagram account.